Um, this is called Naphtha, and uh, Jean Dubuffet has mentioned, many of you would know who that is. If you don't, he was a well-known uh, art blue artist, somewhat usually translated as raw art in the 1950s and 60s in particular. And this poem was uh, <coughs> published in a magazine called Big Table, and you could take thought and send Frank a little thing to try and uh, thank him for it through the mail, just out of the blue. <coughs> Naphtha. I need my class. Ah, Jean Dubuffet, when you think of him doing his military service in the Eiffel Tower as a meteorologist in 1922, you know how wonderful the 20th century would be. And the gated Iroquois and the girders, fierce and unflinching footed, nude as they should be, slightly empty like a soap until the neck. There is a parable of speed somewhere behind the Indian's eyes. They invented the century with their horses and their fragile backs turned hard. We owe a debt to the Iroquois and to Duke Ellington for playing in the buildings when they were built. We don't do much ourselves, as that fuck, and think of the haunting metro and the one who didn't show up there while we were waiting to become part of our century, just as you can't make a hat of steel and still wear it. Who wears hats anyway? It is our tribe's custom to be gone. How are you feeling in ancient September? I'm feeling like a truck on a wet highway. How can you? You were made in the image of God. I was not. I was made in the image of a sissy trucker. <laughs> <laughs> and the Jean de Buffet painting his clouds with a lightness burst in the memory. Apart from love, don't say it. I am ashamed of my century for being so entertaining, but I have to smile. Uh, the inimitable Hattie
happened to be a good friend of Frank's, and I guess he had him fearful of our affair. I can still see what I saw then whirling in this man's arms, repeated glimpses like snapshots of Frank's delighted, conniving grin. So what I hold of him in my heart is I believe in a time when few did, not only that women had a right to work, but a right to sin. <laughs> Joe has a cold and is not coming to 
Hennis, although he is coming to much to Norman, I suspect he is making a distinction. Well, who is it? I wish I were reeling around Paris instead of reeling around New York. I wish I were reeling at all. It is spring, the ice has melted, the car is for. We are all happy in town and toothless. It is the same old day. The only thing to do is simply continue. Is that simple? Yes, it's simple because it's the only thing to do. Can you do it? Yes, you can, because it is the only thing to do. Blue light over the water alone. It continues. The scent continues. The Louvre stays open. It continues. It hardly closes at all. The bar in there I can continues to be French. The call continues to be Algerian, as does the moon. Shirley Goldfarb continues to be Shirley Goldfarb. And Jane Davis continues to be Jane Crowder. Though the day is long. 
walking, and I don't think Madison Avenue, lying in a hammock at St. Mark's Place, sorting my poems in the rancid nourishment of this mountainous island, they are coming, and we holy ones must go. Is Tibet historically part of China, as I historically belong to the enormous bliss of American now? <laughs> Which 
nevertheless has heat and tubes, west side and east side, and its intricate individual pathways of light, accompanied by the ringing of telephone bells, the side which someone sits in silence, denying their own number, never getting out. Nameless, like the sound of troika bells rushing past suffering in the first storm. It is snowing now. It is already too late. The snow will go away, but nobody will be there. Police cordons for lying political dignitaries ring into. The world becomes a jangle from the index finger to the vast empty houses filled with people, their echoes of lies and the tendrils of fog trailing softly around their throats. Now the phone can be answered. Nobody calling. Only an echo. All can confess to be home and waiting. All is the same. And we drift into the clear sky, enthralled by our disappointment. Never to be alone again. Never to be loved. Sailing through space. Didn't I have you once? myself, west side, for a couple of hours, but I am not that person.
Maybe I won't go to sleep at all, and it'll be a beautiful white night. Or else I'll collapse completely from nerves and be calm as a rug or a bottle of pills. Or suddenly I'll be off Monto, swimming and loving and not caring where. An invitation to lunch, how do you like that? When I only have 16 cents and two packages of yogurt. <laughs> There's a lesson in that, isn't there? Like in Chinese poetry when a leaf falls. Hold off on the yogurt till the very last, when everything may improve. <laughs> At the wrong point, they were eating a oyster, but here we were dropping by sculptures and seeing some paintings and the smashing of grates of Cateret, and music by Varez, too. Well, Adolf Gottlieb, I guess you were the hero of this day, along with Venison and Bill. I'll sleep on the yogurt and dream of the Persian Gulf. Which I did, it was wonderful to be in bed again, and the knock on my door for once signified, hi there. And on the deafening walk through the ghetto, where bombs have gone off lately, left by subway violators. I knew why I left taxis. Yes, subways are only fun when you're feeling sexy. And who feels sexy after the blue angel? Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I seem to be defying fate. Or am I avoiding it?
spacious hut, where tenors walk in pumps and girls in great big hats are not at all. Or perhaps he recorded the panorama of hills and valleys before the strangely naked, and rain is turning the set into a dumpling. Wherever I see a while, I seem to lose a little time, and gradually my feet dragging, I slow down the damn bus. It is because of you, so I can watch you smile longer. That's what the spring is in the elbow of new walks. Where did you go? Who did you see? The children were playing. And they too gradually fill the sepulchre of dolls, and the sepulchre jumps and jounces and turns pink with wrath. Next is Trace Peterson. <laughs> and love you. 
you so much. I met a furniture. 